Um, so, um, so it depends a little bit on both, but I do, I do think Fox Fox has an incredible brand. Uh, and it has a very strong influence, and uh, its reputation is very strong. Just because they have one contributor, a writer who happens to be a hacker uh, in in her private life or in her hidden life, um, I can't. Uh, yeah, I I can't even comment on that. I yeah. Um, Cynthia, do you want to talk about your business, finance? And I want to ask you about spot transaction fees. You charge, um, I believe, one tenth of a percent in the U.S. for transaction. So Coinbase charges as much as five times that. Um, I wonder, are there other costs to your users? How do they know that they're getting the best price and the best spread from Binance? Yeah, so um, we are talking, yeah, so I think there's no other costs. Um, in fact, um, for other crypto exchanges, uh, even when they charge a much higher fee, typically like 5 to 10x of ours, they still make a spread on top of that, uh, which is a hidden fee, but we actually don't do that. So Binance so always strive to be the, yeah, so Binance always strives strive to be the lowest fee possible for, from our perspective, and then um, we just want more users to come in. We want the lowest friction for users right. to access crypto. But how do they know that they're getting the best price, that you're matching them up with the best price? Um, well, um, from a user perspective, they may own up, they, like the easiest thing to do is for them to buy some crypto on um, Binance and versus another platform, see what prices they get mm -hmm. and uh, how much they spend and how much how much points they get. Um, that, like, take a thousand dollars and try it on both platforms and you'll find out. Okay, Chandran, last um, question for you. What makes Binance's stablecoin, BUSD, different than some of the others out there like Tether and Circle? Um, so, number one, Binance USD is actually not issued by Binance. It's issued by Paxos, which is an NYDFS uh, uh, licensed ent uh, entity uh, and operating out of New York. So, we don't issue it and we don't, we don't control it. Uh, we just help to promote it because, you know, uh, we have a brand new uh, collaboration. Um, I do believe uh, I believe B, BUSD is the most uh, 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 the most popularly backed, and, and their reserves are the highest uh, of any crypto, uh, of any stable coin. Um, it's different from Tether. Tether is more or less like a black box. I never, no one uh, ever audited it, including myself. I, I don't have any information that's not public. Your BUSD website says kind of black. Yeah. Your website though says that BUSD is subject to regular audits, but they're actually attestations, right? Can you just clarify for us if they're audits or attestations? I'm not sure. What, I'm actually not sure of the technical detail, to be honest. Uh, um, so the audits will be done by Paxos, uh, and they will be conducted with Paxos. So we don't really manage the reserves at all. Um, we just help to promote that uh, stablecoin, and uh, we, uh, we lend our brand to it, and um, it does have uh, it does have the strongest reserve backing. Zizi, thank you so much for coming on to chat with us. We hope to talk to you again soon. Thank you for having me. Still ahead this morning, the CEO of Soros is going to join us. That stock is popping on earnings. We'll get more on Disney's blowout quarter. Uber is still halted for news. Tech Check is back in a moment. Yeah. I'm going to show quick, quick. Yeah.